Hello, today I will discuss ideas on how to write the results section of a research article. This information is based on the wisdom of experts as well as my own experiences. This video has six parts. Number one, prerequisites. Number two, general consideration. Number three, elements of research section. Number four, style of writing. Number five, common errors to be avoided. And number six, bonus tips. To begin with, number one, what are the prerequisites of writing the results? Once you have completed all the planned experiments or surveys, immediate priority is to organize the entire volume of data and here comes the need of statistical tools to check the significance of variations and to summarize the data by converting replicate values to the mean. Several statistical analysis algorithms are available online you need to select the most appropriate and specific algorithm suitable for your set of data, download and then apply. The second prerequisite is the analyzed data is to be presented in tabular and graphic form for the ease of understanding. The tables and graphs should be self-explanatory. The title, legend or the footnotes to the tables and graphs should be drafted meticulously so that the reader understands what you want to explain. The third prerequisite is check the suitability of table, graph or figure for a particular set of data. Take care that one set of data is not presented in multiple ways. For example, first in a table and then in graphic form. While analyzing and interpreting the data, you find some missing links or gaps. You may need to conduct one or more experiments. Ensure that your hypothesis or point of proof is adequately supported by experimental results. The general consideration for writing the results section. Provide an overall description of the experiments and present the data that was obtained in a logical order depending on the discipline target journal and the nature of the study, the structure of the article can differ. Results are usually written as a separate chapter or in combination with discussion as per the requirement of the target journal. Check the guidelines of your target journal and read articles that it has published on similar topics to your study. This will help you in learning acceptable style of the journal, then catalog your findings in relation to the journal requirements and design figures and tables to organize your data accordingly. The results should be mentioned in the order of figures and tables. The results section should simply mention the findings without any bias or interpretation. For example, in your analysis, you may have noticed a significant correlation between two variables never described before by anyone. We get tempted to discuss the unique finding then and there in the results section. It is okay to explain this in the results section. However, speculation about the reasons for this correlation should go in the discussion section of your research article. So coming to the elements of a research section, a very short introductory context that repeats the research question and helps to understand your results should be written first. Secondly, very brief mention about the data collection and study participants should be mentioned. For example, in case of clinical research, it is common to include a first table summarizing the demographic, clinical and other relevant characteristics of the study participants. Then write a systematic description of the main findings in a logical order. Follow the order of the method section, highlighting the most relevant results first. Other important observations and information generated while conducting experiments should be analyzed and presented. Please don't mention any single result. Visual elements such as figures, charts, maps, tables, etc. that summarize and illustrate the findings should be cited in the text and numbered in order. Figures and table should be able to stand on its own without the text which means that the legend should include enough information to understand the non-textual elements. Edit and revise your draft and seek additional inputs from your colleagues or experts. Now comes the style of writing. Number one, connect different sections and paragraphs with a smooth transition from one to 
another paragraph. The result should be written in the past tense. Avoid writing in the passive voice. The use of the active voice makes the statement easy to understand. The passive voice weakens the power of language and increases the number of words needed to say the same thing. Use verbal phrases instead of long nouns. For example, instead of writing as shown in table 1, there was a significant increase in gene expression. You can say as shown in table 1, gene expression increased significantly. Get a second and even third opinion writing a scientific article is not an individual work. Ask your co-authors to check the results section and to add their comments and suggestions. Opinion of a third professional may help you to identify misinterpretations or errors. Ask a colleague that is not directly involved in the work to review your results and then try to evaluate what your colleague did or did not understand. If needed, seek additional help from a qualified expert. So coming to the common errors which needs to be avoided, number one, don't include raw results and repetitive data. You do not need to present every single number and calculation. Do not include redundant information. If data are contained in the tables or figures, do not repeat them in the description. You can highlight the most relevant results in the discussion. Do not repeat background information or methods or introductory information. If you feel that more background information is necessary to present a result, insert that information in the introduction section. Do not ignore negative results or results that don't support the conclusion. In addition to posing potential ethical concerns on your work, reviewers will not like it. You need to mention all relevant findings even if they failed to support your predictions or hypothesis. Negative results are useful and will guide future studies on the topic. Provide your interpretation for negative results in the discussion section. Do not discuss or interpret the results. Leave that for the discussion. Unless your target journal allows preparing one section combining results and discussion together. Examples of error include using an excessive number of figures and tables. Hard to read figures with many sub figures or enormous tables may confuse the reader. So one needs to avoid, avoid cryptic abbreviations, inadequate use of colors, axes, scales, symbols, etc. Do not include tables and figures that are not mentioned in the body text of your results section. So here comes the bonus tips. Number one, prepare self-standing tables, graphs, figures, etc. which should be prepared with the aim of making all findings very easy to understand for the readers and not to impress the reader. Number two, put all these tables and figures in a sequence which matches with the sequence of experiments mentioned in the materials and methods section. And tip number three, describe the most important data points in each table and figure in the easy to understand text which should read like a storyline.